What's going on y'all? This is Gabe at Junction Auto Salon uh, back with the next episode of the Dirt Series Detailing in Real Time where I take you through various processes on various customers cars uh, for detailing, paint correction, and ceramic coating. Today we are finishing the coating on uh, this behemoth of a vehicle. The entire truck is coated aside from the front end. So I figured it would be a good time for y'all to see just what happens whenever you are ceramic coating a matte surface. So I'm going to take you through the process of ceramic coating uh, just the base of the grill around here underneath the headlights uh, and along the top here and we will dig into just this middle bar of the ram so y'all can see just how long this takes just what kind of effect uh, the ceramic coating has on this versus the bumper that's why i'm not going to do the bumper in this video as well because i would like to be able to show the difference between coated mat and uncoated mat so uh, most of the truck is done or the rest of the truck is done actually so we are going to just get a little bit of uh, coating on the pad uh, on the applicator and just kind of start we're, we're not working coating in coating is applied there's no buffing it in it does not need to be done you just need to get a good even layer not a big deal but now as you see it going on, you can see that it is, it's glossy, it's wet. So uh, that's 100% normal for it to be, uh, for the finish to have changed because we have not leveled this finish out at all. But when I try to tell, when I try to explain to folks just what happens when you coat or ceramic coat a, a matte color it's really hard to tell them it it deepens the color it makes the color richer uh, w without sounding like it's adding some kind of layer of gloss it's not uh, it's just causing uh, it, all, all it's doing is making the the color look uh, a, a lot richer than it than it already does so we get the coating on here uh, everything looks great give that a minute to kind of set up and again you can see uh, kind of the difference let me even this out uh, you can kind of see the difference here between uh, between these two surfaces so that's nothing yet that's coated that's co that's coated uh, so you'll see what happens whenever we do the the leveling uh, the three towel method with the leveling and we'll start to pull this off of the surface of the grill I'm trying to make sure that I'm keeping the camera pointed where y'all can see this happening So we can come back along here. Grills are full of nooks and crannies, so you just kind of have to take your time. Uh, make sure you're getting as far down into some of these little corners and stuff like that as, as much as you can. Just basically don't suck. Because if you suck, then well, you suck. I don't, I don't know what to tell you, man. I got nothing just rambling here y'all are watching me wipe a towel on a grill of a Dodge Ram what do you want from me so just digging into the last of this initial level for this grill all right we can switch over to towel number two and we can already immediately fill, fill, <laughs> fill, fill. We can already immediately feel that this coating is really, really 
really slick. Uh, we're knocking down the rest of the the high spots from the initial wipe. Move down here onto the grill. Try to entertain y'all while I do boring things. Now I'm really not a big fan, uh, or the biggest fan, of the ceramic coating process, to be honest with you. It's not my favorite thing to do. My favorite thing to do is actually the paint correction part of it. Because it's usually the biggest difference. That's where you get a vast majority of your gloss. Now there's, there's gloss, uh, like there's gloss adders and glossifiers that are in some of these coatings and sealants and protectants that I use that's that's normal you can tell a little bit of a difference but the biggest difference you get is from the polishing step uh, plus you know polishing to me is really satisfying because of the difference you can get in some of these cars now this car was really well taken care of uh, before I got it it's got almost got 50,000 miles on it it's about a year year and a half old something like that uh, here we switched over to the third towel for the third, uh, the, fi the final wipe, the haze buster, the, the money maker, the who, wh whatever the crap you want to call this towel. It's a rag company pearl nano. A rag company pearl. Get into your corners here. Ramble on a little bit more about just abject nonsense come back to the grill don't suck don't suck don't 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 suck don't suck all right so we're getting the last of this grill done how many times do i have to say this over and over again i'm not a very entertaining person or at least my wife doesn't think i am so uh i think i'm hilarious Y'all just have to friggin' deal with it. Alright, so... That is a coated matte black surface. So it makes the color just a little bit richer. Just a little bit deeper. Does not add any gloss or anything like that. So what you're seeing is the difference between this surface and this surface. It's just that much blacker that much matter blacker uh, matte blacker I however y'all want to say that it's just that much better than an uncoated matte black surface or any any color that's in matte really so uh, doesn't really do much else aside from just make it better looking so that's really it. Y'all got to see the difference between a matte surface being coated and a matte surface being bare. Don't mind all of the uh, the fun rock chips and stuff like that. Uh, this car does see quite a bit of desert time. So I will leave that to the customer to want to address in the future. Uh, but that's it y'all. Y'all make sure you like and subscribe. And I will see y'all on the next video. Junction Auto out.